social data is uh, it's an interesting phenomenon because social media started really only 10 years ago. And there are two distinct forms of social data. There's conversation, which is content that people post publicly, so that's a tweet or a public Facebook post or anything like that. And that conversation gets archived on the internet. And if it's been set to post publicly, people can read it. You can read it, I can read it, companies can read it. And of course, a lot of conversations happen about brands, about products, about celebrities, about current events. What's interesting about that content is it's a great way to listen to what consumers are saying, what they think about your brands. And that's why most companies now have a social listening for customer service. If you tweet at Qantas, I'm sure they'll respond to you like the Delta team will within a matter of minutes. And that has been a really fascinating development because that data is available basically since the beginning of Twitter. And a lot of conversation happens on Twitter, and so you can mine that for really relevant insights and figure out what's happening among your consumers. The other side is the network connections. So who are people connected to? What brands do they follow? How do they interact with each other? And that's fascinating because it helps create great audiences, and it helps create an understanding of how do people move together? And as an advertiser, that's interesting because we want to connect with our consumers in the best way possible. So the more we know about someone that is shared publicly, the better we can be at serving content that's going to connect with them. It's no different for you than it is for regular consumers. You want to get ads that are relevant to you. If you're not looking to buy a power drill, then we shouldn't serve you ads as advertisers for power drills. Now, if you are looking for a new Michael Kors bag, that should be something served to you. And we feel the same way at Coca-Cola, that we should know what brands you like, what brands you might like, and serve you content that is going to engage you in a way that's more positive and builds a better connection. And we can do that through social media. We can do that through other paid media and, and other ways to advertise to people. Recently at Coca-Cola, we've moved away from just talking about social data in isolation. When you think about that, the way that it blends in with other data sources is more for marketing, just generically. And so when we talk about data and using it for marketing purposes, we're using lots of different data sources where social is one of them. That helps our story be a bit more compelling. It helps our learning be a little bit better. It helps us be better listeners and helping to understand what consumers are looking for. And we end up using that for things like creating content that speaks to people better. So if you like uh, fashion more than you like music or sport, well, we've got a lot of content for those topics. And we might choose to serve you content on fashion before we serve you content on sport. And the reason why we need to do that is it's going to connect with you a bit better. The other ways that we're using data is to help make sure that we're reaching you the right amount of times, that we're not over-serving you ads, because everyone gets frustrated when you see the same ad too often. You're like, man, I've already seen that ad. Can you please stop? And if you want, you can click that little button and turn it off. But we want to be respectful of our consumers. And we've been around for 130 years as a brand. We're the most recognizable brand on Earth. And it's important for us to keep that connection going and not be frustrating our consumers, but instead building that relationship with them. And so we use data for, for delivering on that. Um, and it also helps us create new opportunities and new experiences for people as well. So we build our own creative and our content internally, but then we also use social listening. We use different consumer trends to help build our content from that. So data helps us in a lot of different ways.